Hi guys, welcome to today's news. The problem of Southeast is guilty conscience. The news in details. Dr. Joseph Ono, the spokesperson of Ashiwa Jubola Med Tunubu in the Southeast, in an exclusive interview reported by the nation's newspaper, has condemned those claiming that Tunubu's administration will discriminate against the Igbos because they voted against him. Dr. Joseph Ono, in the interview, explained that when Tunubu said it will be taken over from where President Buhari stopped, he meant it will take over from developmental stride that President Muhammadu Buhari administration embarked on. Dr. Ono noted that the president-elect will engage in every region of the country and there will be no underdogs. Dr. Ono claimed that President Buhari's administration favored the South the most. He listed on the infrastructure projects like the Akano Ibiam International Airport, Enugu, and the 200 billion naira second Ninja Bridge done by President Mari's administration. He noted that the problem with the Southeast is that they think Ashwaju Bola Metunubu will discriminate against them because they refuse to vote for him. Part of Dr. Ono's statement goes. The statement where Mr. President-elect said he will continue from where President Muhammad Buhari stopped simply meant that in every developmental stride that the President Muhammad Buhari's administration embarked on to Nigeria's economic growth, infrastructural growth, among others, will continue and be achieved. Dr. Ono added that I wish to also make it clear that the South Easterners should stop promoting ethnicity at their opportunity at every opportunity that they get. The problem with South East is guilty conscience. They know how they all conspired against Ashwa Jubola Ahmed Tunubu during the election. But despite that, Ashwa Jubola Ahmed Tunubu will not isolate the South East in appointment and infrastructural development. Dr. Joseph Ono, who is presently the South East spokesperson of the All Progressive Congress presidential candidate, Senator Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu, and also still a member of the People Democratic Party, where he aspired for the 2023 gubernatorial bid in Enugu State. He was in Enugu State House of Assembly during Dr. Chimaroke Enamani's leadership of the state and has since then remained a close friend of the former Enugu State Governor. And means the issue of Ashwa Jubala Amen Tinumbu's committees, transition committee selection, which is still giving issues in the South, is because no Igbos were involved in the transition list. Dr. Joseph Ono was reacting to the statements credited to the former governor of Enugu State and former national chairman of the People Democratic Party, PDP. Dr. Umwande Un lamented that the incoming administration of Senator Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu was giving the Southeast a slice of soaked bread as the president elect declared during his January campaign in Enugu State. But Ono said that the Igbo should not be hasty in making inflammatory speeches, noting that it was too early in the day for the Southeast to pose an opposition once again to the federal government. He also re echoed that the incoming Tinubu's administration will be a government for everyone and all parts of Nigeria, stressing that the composition of the transition committee was the duty of the incumbent administration, which should not be used as a yardstick to judge the Tinubu's government in the waiting. According to Honor, the people of the South East should not express much worry, assuring that Ashwadu Bola Ahmed Tunubu is not into dirty politics as he, he never offered the Igbos any soaked bread. Rather, the Igbos chose to soak their breads themselves. He said irrespective of that, we have always said that the inauguration is not Ashwadu Bola Ahmed Tunubu's business, but the present government. Hence, the Igbos have nothing to fear. I can assure the people that Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu will not be a discriminatory in his government. He said, irrespective of the fact that Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu performed abnormally poor in the presidential election conduct in the state of the Southeast, where enough support was not given to him to emerge as the president, I can vouch and assure our people that politics has come and gone, and Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu is now the president elect and would soon be sworn in as the president. 
and I can assure everyone that it would be the president of, of a united Nigeria. He also maintained that the incoming Ashwajibola Metunumbu led government can only be judged when it will be sworn in and not by action prior to the formation of the government, stressing, stressing that the bulk of a transition committee rests squarely on the incumbent administration other than the yet to be inaugurated one. He also urged Indigo to cooperate with the new Nigeria government being formed so as not to create an impression that the region has chosen to be in constant antagonism against the federal government once it is not one of their own that is at the aims of affairs. There is no point in politicizing the inauguration committee which is being done in bad fit just to create a political divide. The inauguration committee is not an appointment. The members do not represent substantive appointments, but a mere selection to pilot its transition period. The committee does not determine the outlook of any government. One thing people should understand is that Muhammadu Bari is still the president of Nigeria and we cannot have two presidents at the same time. And the outgoing administration is the one responsible for the inauguration of the incoming government. The Bari government has the right to appropriate and designate responsibilities as it pleases and these res responsibilities do not represent a bias or aimed at isolating any particular segment of the country. It is therefore wrong for people to politicize the composition of mere transition council. The composition is not aimed at the isolation of any particular ethnic nationality. It is not an appointment honor said. He also maintained that the incoming Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu's led government can only be judged when it is sworn in and not by action prior to the formation of the government, stressing that the bulk of a transition committee rests squarely on the incumbent administration other than the yet to be inaugurated one. Dr. Ono also added that he wished to also make it clear that the, to the South Easterners that they should stop promoting ethnicity at every opportunity they get said the problem of the Southeast is guilty conscience. They know that they all they know what they did to conspire against Ashwajubala Ahmed Tunubu's administration during the election. But despite that, Ashwaju did not did not isolate the Southeast in appointment and infrastructural development. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. And also please don't forget to let us know your thoughts via the comment section. And make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel and let us know your comments below i will see you on the next news as i'll be bringing you more interesting news and breaking news bye for now